All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so, as uh, promised, let's take over the uh, the creation or the setup for your uh, packet tracer uh, for external access, which would allow us to to make our API calls. Um, and also interact with it using uh, VS Code or Postman or Insomnia or whatever. So the first thing you want to do when you have your packet tracer open is to go to options and options and then you select preferences. You want to come to and it brings you to this box. You want to come to miscellaneous and we want to check these two options. Uh, exter external network access. We want to check that and we also want to check enable external uh, access or network controller REST API. That is all you have to do for that section of it, is to come down here to your end devices. Um, and then it's the uh, network controller, which is this one. Um, you wanna drag that onto the canvas. This is it I have up here. Okay, so once you have, once you, once you click on the, on the network controller, it brings up this box. The things you want to set up are at the default gateway, um, which would basically be the, the, the default gateway that you have set as your network segment for your, for your network segment. Generally, this would be the router or wherever your DHCP server is. In this case, the segment I have here is set to uh, 192.168.100.1. Um, the other stuff that you need to set up, which is very important, is the is to go to the controller. And you want to check the box for access enable. This needs to be checked. Leave the port number the way it is at 58,000. And that is pretty much it for that portion of it. Okay, so now that we have our uh, our setup uh, for external access uh, done, the next thing we want to do is to verify that uh, we can actually get to it. And how do you do that? You would go to uh, HTTP uh, colon double forward slash localhost uh, colon 58,000 um, and if everything works correctly it should bring you to a screen where you get to create a username and a password I am not going to do that because I already have a username and password set and my browser saved it but for you guys if you if you are doing this you would uh, need to create a user, new username and password. Just remember what you type. Now, after you do that um, and you have saved it, it should bring you back to a screen where, like this one where you have to log in, which is what I'm going to do next. When you do log in, uh, evidently you are not going to have this because here I already have my uh, discovery uh, already happened because I did this already but what you guys are going to see would be pretty much like this except it's going to be it's, it's going to say zeros for for the devices and and everything else right so at this point what do we want to do we want to start our discovery process or we want to add some devices um, because Cisco DNS Center, or at least the SDN controller inside of Packet Tracer doesn't actually have any value if you don't have any devices to it. Now the assumption here is that you have already created uh, your topology and you already have your devices on your topology and this controller is actually added uh, to one of the switches in your topology. So what we want to do at this point would be to go to provisioning. And the first thing we want to do is to click on credentials. And then we are going to click on 
uh, the plus sign for credential to add a new credential. And here, uh, you want to put in a username. So let's say whatever username you are using to uh, log in for SSH to your network gear, in this case, Cisco, um, at least that's the one I'm using. And uh, the password is Cisco CISCO uh, one, two, three, exclamation. Um, leave the enable password as blank uh, because if you set up when you set up your SSH um, and you created a username you should have set the privilege level for that account to, to level 15 so you can leave the enable password as blank now do give it a description um, and then hit OK I already have my credentials in there, so I am not going to do that. I'm just going to hit cancel. But for you guys, go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, my credentials are here. Then we are going to go to discovery. And then we are going to do uh, hit plus discovery uh, to start a new discovery. And the discovery type is CDP. Leave it the way it is. Um, here you want to put the name of the switch, the switch that or the switch to which your your network controller is connected to. So in my case, I did upper left, and I only called it upper left because uh, it's the portion of the screen where. Uh, it, it is located on my topology diagram. I could, you could, I could actually call that anything. I just called that. I gave it a name of upper left because well, who, who has the time to be creative? And then here you want to do the IP address of that switch. Ninety-two um, But yours could be different. Now, if you are using the topology that I sent you, that's the correct IP. If you're using the topology that I sent you guys, that's the correct IP. Um, you can leave the, the timeouts, the retries, and the CDP level. You can leave them the way they are. Now, the more important thing here is to uh, set the correct credential. Um, in this case, uh, it would be my Cisco admin credentials, the one I created previously. And then you are going to hit add and once you click on add it's going to add it and then start the discovery process but i'm not going to do that again because i did it already um and then it's going to run through the simulation on that discovery process and then it's going to find all those uh those devices now when it's done what you should see is something like this um, so I clicked on uh, network devices or uh, network device and then it lists all the devices that it found inside of my topology using the Cisco discovery protocol. Um, and that is pretty much it as far as the setup uh, inside of uh, your uh, SDN controller or your Cisco DNEC. Now, that in itself is the end of that, but that is not what we were learning. What we were learning is network programmability, which I am going to show you next how to do using the uh, using a REST API. We are going to actually validate that everything that we are doing works outside of using Cisco DNC. So st stay tuned for that. All right, so now that uh, we have our setup uh, of the uh, SDN uh, completed and we know it works because we are able to get to the to the SDN controller and we have added some devices um, and we know that we are able to reach it because we can get to it from our web browser um, on our local machine. The next thing that we want to do is to test the, the API uh, using uh, 
insomnia. So how do we do this? Um, when you have insomnia open, you should have something like, like this. You want to click on collections and then select that. And for you guys, there should be no, not, not a lot of stuff here or if anything. But the important part here is that you want to go to where you see the word filter. There is a plus sign. We want to select that. And we want to do new request. And then uh, give your request a name. Um, let's say uh, VNAC first. And then you want to set the, the method uh, instead of having it be get, you want it to be post, right? And then we are going to hit create, right? And in, in the URL, we are going to put in uh, HTTP uh, colon colon uh, localhost colon and we want to set the uh, the port number to the port number for our external access which is 58,000 and then we are going to do forward slash API forward slash v1 follow forward slash ticket okay so uh, once you have uh, the the URL set uh, to localhost 58,000 API v1 ticket you want to come here where it says body and we are going to drop this down and select uh, JSON, right? And then we are going to actually pass in a JSON formatted string. So the way we do that is it's uh, uh, inverted, uh, it's, uh, we use a pair of braces and then we are going to say username, uh, username. And we pass in our username, in this case, whatever it is that you used as the username that uh, you created to log in into that device. And then the password. And the password uh, that you, you, you created. Uh, to log in to that device into your Cisco DNA center. Um, and if you notice, everything in here is a string. Okay, so once we have our username and password in there, um, and we are going to make that post request by hitting send. And if you notice, uh, the Cisco DNA center responded by sending me a, a, a service ticket, which is this value right here. Now I do know, I do remember that I told you guys that I was not going to uh, tell you how to do this and I was going to let you guys figure it out. Um, but it, it actually sent me a, a service, uh, the, the, the ticket ID, which is this value. And that is what you're going to use going forward uh, as the bearer token, allowing you to interact with the uh, with, with that SDN controller. Okay, so now that we have our our uh, we have returned our uh, API token, the next thing we want to do is to start a new request by going back here. And then we want to do a uh, new request. And we are going to call this uh, the, uh, network devices. And we are going to leave it as a get request. And we are going to hit create. And in, in here, we want to uh, type in 
uh, http uh, colon double forward slash localhost uh, colon 58000 forward slash api forward slash v1 forward slash network hyphen device right and then what we are going to do is go back here and we are going to copy uh, the token we are going to copy the token that was generated in that previous uh, uh, request and then we come back to this and you're going to go now here to header right in the box where it says th there should be a, there's an empty box here we want to type in x of token and then in the value so in the key box we want to do x of token and in the value we are going to paste in the key uh, i mean we are going to put paste in the token that we copied from the from the previous request and that's pretty much it and then if we do uh send we get the list of all the devices uh that are quote unquote uh that were discovered in your in your in the setup that you had uh, when you did your device discovery as you can see I do have uh, some devices here um, even though uh, some of them do say unreachable but you, you get the idea so this proves that you are able to to make the make an API request to Cisco DNA Center uh, or in this case our SDN controller in packet tracer allowing you to make API calls the process to doing this is similar even if you do decide to write a Python script that does the same it's the, the, the process is the same once you have gotten this part working uh, getting it to work in a Python script is pretty much the same I mean I can actually just come here to the thing I just wrote and just right click on it and then I'm going to select generate code and that's the uh, that's the Python code that is actually used to uh, to make that request and you can just copy this and put it in an actual script but we will talk about that in the next class now I do hope that you find this informative and if you do give it a like share subscribe <laughs> now i'm just kidding <laughs>